I haven't been filming anything for the past few days because it's been pretty dull and I haven't done any b-roll uh, it's been snowing a lot like you might see and um, but the, my Sony camera is still going strong I haven't had any problem with it so that's great today I'm gonna do a little bit more um, shots with my ATD and I'm also going on to the construction site so that will be exciting and uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Picking up some gear here at the office. I set up my ADD and my Sony. I'm just trying to get some pickup shots, some, some a bit of close-ups of the workers uh, down there. And we have a pretty decent sunrise today. And it's a good day. Safety first. I'm setting up my Genie and my ATD here inside this pipe. Uh, I think they will give a pretty cool effect and do a pan and tilt up towards the construction site. Yeah, I hope that will look pretty cool. a nice spot to set up my camera here it's the uh, Canon 80D with the Tokina 11 to 16 on my Serp slider with the Serp Genie yeah I think it's pretty cool uh, when I get the foreground and a bit of movement uh, most of my shots are static so it would be nice to get some some movement into my shots as well so yeah New day, um, today I am going to try to test out the Serp Slingshot. It's a cold day, it's a bit windy, so it will be uh, interesting to see how it's holding up in the wind. So now I'm just packing some stuff and then I'm heading out uh, to the opera and try to get a nice view of the uh, uh, construction site. <laughs> It's snowing pretty hard, but uh, I'm just gonna set up my rig while I wait for the snow to calm down a bit. I'm trying to hide a bit from the wind so that you can hear me, uh, but uh, I have a 25 meter rope and I have a 100 meter rope. And I'm not sure exactly how far it is across, so I'm gonna have to kind of try to calculate that instead of using the wrong rope because if it's more than 25 meters I have to use my 100 meter rope um, as from what I can see I think it's a bit further than uh, 25 meters but it's quite easy to calculate if you paid attention in your math class so basically this is like um, a triangle right and this is where uh, the camera goes so in order to calculate this length you can just measure this length and this length so this turned out to be 19 meters and this turned out to be 
30 meters so now I know this is 30 meters so I already know that it's gonna be longer than 25 if I were to calculate it you just take 30 squared plus 19 squared equals x squared this is x that equals x squared it means x equals the square root of this plus this which will be 1261 right equals 35.5 meters so then I know this is 35.5 meters By the way, a few months ago I um, made a tutorial to get with Surf how to use this, so I'll link that in the, the description below and you can check that out if you're interested in how to set this up properly. So the camera is rolling and uh, I had to go with a short shutter speed because I'm not confident that the slingshot will be completely stable in this much wind. Um, so of course I would like to have a, a longer shutter speed because of the water under the camera. But for now I think this kind of trade-off is okay. I think the image will look uh, pretty cool anyway. So. Let's cross our fingers that it will come all the way over and uh, that it will not fall into the water. So the settings, quickly. Um, six second interval, 35 meters in distance and then like 50 degrees rotation and 15 degrees tilt. Um, on the camera, it's in aperture priority mode f9, I think, ISO 100, um, no filters. The Canon 80D with the 17 to 40 millimeter f4 at 17 millimeter f9. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. So this is the not so cool part about being a timeless photographer, having to wait wait a lot you know especially when it's this cold it's uh, it's freezing so now it's finished I'm gonna head back home and then I'm gonna have a look at uh, the footage I got Just got back home, imported the uh, slingshot uh, sequence into After Effects and then just uh, threw a uh, warp stabilizer on there. And I think it came out pretty nice, like considering the conditions I was shooting in and the fact that I didn't get to use a, uh, a long shutter speed, um, I think it came out like pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you can have a look. I haven't done any adjustments to it really. I cropped it a little bit and the warp stabilizer and that's it. I think this part is pretty cool when it's like flying over uh, the wharf, but then this is a bit hectic, uh, so I might speed up that a little bit.
but then I think it's nice when you can see the construction site and the opera house and you can see the cranes moving around so I think a pretty cool shot. This is my third try of the slingshot. It's by no means my, my best one. The best one was the second one I did. And this is the one I did uh, the tutorial for, uh, like I said. And uh, if you want to check out how I did it, and basically the same as I did today, but a bit more uh, in detail, uh, explanations of how I do things, uh, then have a look at that. It's a pretty long tutorial, half an hour or so. So um, it's really quite in depth, both in terms of how I shoot it and also how I post process it. <laughs>